So this week, from Handyman Corner, I'm gonna make my dream come true. Hello and welcome. We're gonna just jump right into it today and start cutting up some wood and fabricating a mount. Hopefully we can get the dimensions right and know what we need to do to start cutting up some aluminum after that. Do it. Well, I'm kind of glad I'm starting to mock this up in wood first. So my initial plan was to do a six inch square cube, not a square cube, but a cube to fit everything inside. Um, but now that I've started to put everything together, I'm thinking six inches may be too big. So as we know from before, I have the 120 tooth pulley and I have a 20 tooth pulley on the stepper motor. I found that using the shortest belt I have Which is 264 that I think I can get away with a little bit smaller. I want to try and use the smallest cube I can to make it light pack everything in as tight as I can. So we got this stepper motor. We slide it this to the right a little bit. We'll just tighten it up by sliding it to the right. I'll have to fabricate a stepper bracket. I know you can buy them, but most stepper brackets adjust this way, in and out. I need it to go side to side, so I'll have to create my own. And what I'm going to do is I have some aluminum angle. I'll cut a hole for the stepper on the bottom. I'll put a couple of slots this way so I can adjust it back and forth. We'll put it here. So I have found some schematics for the harmonic drive and for the stepper motors. Uh, when when I print them like this on my printer, they print up too small. So I adjusted the scale so they're bigger and put my calipers on it and measured this so it is exactly the same as my harmonic drives. So I can use these for a template on the aluminum to cut the holes and, and put the bolts in the right positions. I also did the same thing for the stepper, so this is the same size as a stepper motor. I use that for the, the template for cutting the holes. Okay, I did a pretty good job of guessing the size of the pulley, so it's exactly about the same size as the harmonic drive. Because I wanted the maximum gear reduction I could get, so I have 120 teeth there, 20 tooth on stepper driver which will give me a 6 to 1 reduction. If I understand correctly, the slower the RPM on the stepper motor, the more torque it has. So I want these to be torquey boys to be able to hold the OTA in position. i show you this way. That's about where it'll be positioned. So I have a little bit on this end that I can cut off to make it smaller. And I can, you know I can make the cube a little bit shorter both ways and still be able to tighten this up so if I take off that little bit there I'll be putting the controller board on this side and it should fit right in there perfectly and this will be the RA so now with the deck axis we'll be using the stepper without the brake on it so it will go about there so I can take it even farther in. So instead of a six inch cube, so on the RA axis, I think I'll have probably 
about a five by five inch cube. And on the deck side, I'll have probably a five by four and a quarter inch. So we'll continue mocking this up and we'll follow along from there. All right, I think I've got the final dimensions. I tried it at five and it was just a hair too small. So my final dimensions will be, this is the RA axis. So it'll be five and a quarter by five and a quarter that way. And it will be six inches from here to here. Everything fits inside and put the controller right here. So this side of the mount will be 3D printed. It won't be aluminum. Otherwise, the Wi-Fi chip in on the controller won't work. Wouldn't be able to get through the metal. So we'll be setting that this way. I have a plate connected to the harmonic drive that goes on the deck axis this way. The deck axis is going to be five and a quarter by five and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then I have a plate on the top here for the dovetail plate. So I'll try and put it together, see what we get. Okay, well, here we are. If Fred Flintstone built a telescope mount, it would look exactly like this. So I'm going to have one cable going from the RA box to the deck box. Um, I bought these four conductor plugs and sockets. I'll be using those. Got some four conductor wire cable to go with that. This will go on there, like so. And this came aluminum. So we're ready to go. Next, we'll be cutting up some aluminum. Well, that's all for today. So next video, we'll be cutting up some aluminum and hopefully putting them out together and getting it running under its own power and do some testing. If you're liking this series so far, be sure to subscribe if you haven't. And like the video, leave me some comments. I try to read all of them and reply. No pretty pictures again this time. The weather has just been awful. So, I'll talk to you later and clouds suck.